Hello my dear viewers, welcome to today's reading. Today being Thursday, January 18th, 2024, and this message is for all of us, for each and one of us, for the whole collective. Welcome my dear viewers and let us see what are important messages for today. Starting with the first one, and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish happy birthdays, happy anniversaries, happy occasions to each and every one of you celebrating. I wish you a glorious day and a happy birthday, happy anniversary and happy occasion, whatever it may be. And those of you who are not celebrating, I still wish you a wonderful, wonderful, glorious day with all my best wishes for all of you. So let us begin. The first message, and it has opened up. Okay. We have ground yourself. Very important to ground yourself. Okay. Let me just put my glasses on. Grounding yourself is very important. It looks to me like it says when, when you detach from awareness of your body, and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float um, heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon this earth. We are helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. This is for those of you who are in meditation, those of you who are finding it how hard to ground yourself, finding it hard, your circumstances around you, you're not happy with. Sometimes we all escape somehow through meditation um, in different areas of our lives, different times, different levels where there may be things that are um, sometimes hard to contemplate, sometimes going through changes that we don't like. We tend to escape uh, through meditation and float in the air and just not connect with reality but it is imperative that we are connected so that we can continue our journey and finish our jobs that we're all doing here so my dear viewers our guardian angels are going to be watching over us all and taking care of us in that regard making us more grounded now the next message for the collective is one that we all need happiness happiness to the highest level and degree freedom also where many of us are waiting to be free from certain things in our lives so freedom and happiness and spiritual um, vibrations enhanced um, higher vib vibrations now the tea leaves let's see four messages i got one and two um, three and four that's it okay and this one's left behind. I'll take it also. All right. Let's have a look and see what the message is here. What are the messages, actually? Um, starting with the first one, it says dolphin. Dolphin is a lucky omen. And dolphin is about doing something with a lot of intellect. Now, according to the tea leaf, it says financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Financial gain. It's also about luck and abundance. Yes. Dolphin. Okay, we've got July. The month of July could be connected to people that are born Cancer, under the star sign Cancer, or the star sign of Leo, but July also. July is going to impact everybody's life. Um, money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it very soon. Money path. That's beautiful. Okay, and then the next one we have success, glorious success. And then we've got June. Wow, something else is happening in June. Or people that are born in June are again Cancer. So Cancer united here twice. People under the star sign of Cancer pay attention big time. Or people dealing with people that are Cancer, can have, uh, you know, the Zodiac uh, Cancer, star sign Cancer, big time. And then you've got Gemini also in this one. But June and July are united in the star sign of Cancer. So something big happening for Cancerian people. Okay, people who have Cancer in them. Okay, enough of that now. Let's see. Uh, what else you need to know? I'm going to just move these along a little bit here so I can do the two cards. I'm going to take one more message for the collective. January 18th. And we have family harmony. Peace and harmony in family. That is beautiful. Family harmony. Happiness and family harmony. Both beautiful cards. Both beautiful messages. Okay. Let's see four major impacts that are impacting everybody on January 18th. Just bear with me, my dear viewers. Yes. 17th. I think I said the wrong thing. Thursday, 17th. I should bear with me. I'm just, I think I made a mistake here. It could be 17th. Why am I getting confused? Um, 
18, that's right. Yes, I'm right. Thursday 18th. I've written 17th by mistake, but Thursday, January 18th. Okay, my dear viewers. Now, uh, starting with the first thing. Wow, someone who's going to inspire you, uplift you, to move to the next level. Could be somebody of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, possibly. And it could be luck also. We have fish there. Luck coming your way or somebody could inspire you to do something and you will be lucky. Four of Swords shows that you are resting from a battle and just taking stock of everything that you've gone through. Going through a period of resting, a period of peace, contemplating and just time out from your daily life. Time out. Okay, so the next card, some cards fell, so I'm just trying to put them back where they belong. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is about taking action and taking action quickly, very fast. You're finally able to do it. You're finally able to take action and move forward. Where you weren't able to, now you can. Some of you are traveling. The Lovers, decisions are going to be needed to be made in regard to a relationship or a partnership that's doing quite well to the point where... Um, you might be thinking of moving in together, you might be thinking of living together, you might be thinking of starting a business together, a partnership that is really doing well. We're going to clarify everything to know more, more and more about this. And finally, what you don't see coming, a soulmate and a great victory. Soulmate connection, um, healing together, becoming strong together, freeing yourself from many burdens, a great partnerships, uh, partnership and a beautiful, amazing victory with a chariot this is also connected to cancer so the star sign cancer has come up three times in this reading cancerians okay um victory and also overcoming all obstacles and becoming victorious a great victory awaits for you and moving on to the next level three important messages for the collective january 18th and the first one we have the five of swords where there is conflict and where there is um, disagreements and feeling as though there's nothing you can do, you feel defeated, even though you might be winning, but you might feel like, even though you're winning a conversation or a situation, but it's not really working, uh, this is where you need time out to really think about it. And I'm going to clarify this card, find out what this is all about. The second one is a beautiful one, the Ten of Pentacles, the, the, the card of wealth and riches, legacies and generation of wealth, a lot of money coming your way. I'll put this one here and one more. And we have the King of Wands. It shows someone of fire energy, other Sagittarius, Leo or Aries. Have a look at your general reading. You'll know exactly who this person is. Someone that is going to be inspiring you, helping you, or perhaps connecting with you on a high level, supporting you. We'll see. I'm going to clarify to see what it is. Because in some cases, I'll see what, uh, what you don't see. Strength and Queen of Cups. Okay. Um, in some cases, the... Uh, the king of wands could be someone that you might be having conflict with. So I'm going to put it here and find out, clarify it. So we've got emotional fulfillment. Someone of water energy is going to be supporting your Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, and uh, what you don't see coming. And you are going to be empowered big time with courage and strength to overcome all obstacles. Just like the other one, what you don't see coming. Something is coming that you are needing courage and power to overcome something big in your life. So, wow, this is all what's coming now. Uh, moving along, take this away. Now let's see what else we need to know. We're going to take two or three. Actually, we'll take two. So that's one that opened up and this one that fell down for the collective. And what do we have here? We have treasure. Treasure is about worry-free finances. Worry-free finances. Money in reserve, um, excess, having too much money, having a, a treasure, finding a treasure, abundance coming. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, don't forget. We've got wealth and money coming in big time. Mm, very interesting. Um, and we've got money path. Remember the money path? This is really great. This is amazing. And success on the other side too. But it's the money path here where I'm seeing um, large amounts of money coming to you for the collective, all of us. Wow, big money. The Ten of Pentacles, treasure, uh, money path here, money path, and success. You can't go wrong here. This is amazing. Absolutely. Um, so, success and money path. I'll just put them back. Treasure is also about careers and executive positions, sales, planning, and hidden talent being discovered in this treasure. 
Now, the wings are beautiful, rising beyond money issues, going way beyond business taking off. For those of you who are starting business or have a business, it's going to take off. There's a lot of profits to be made. Careers and spiritual work, believe it or not. The angel's wings, of course. And finding life's purpose and knowing what your mission is. For those of you who are exploring and wondering what is my mission, you will be finding it very soon. Let's see what else you need to know, my dear viewers. Two more messages before I clarify all the cards. So we've got one. And we've got two. These ones are not important if they're reverse or not reverse because um, they don't, only tarot is important when, when it comes to reverses. And it's funny, we never get reverses. We never do, no matter what happens. I wonder why. I hardly ever see a reverse. Okay, where before I used to get a lot of them. 18th of January, let's see the message, and there it is. Okay, first I'll do this one quickly. It says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful, happiness. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you find yourself in. Now, you are destined for a lot of happiness. So all you need to do is ground yourself, and you know what we're talking about. Your guardian angels are going to be giving you abundance uh, of treasure there's treasure coming your way there is happiness uh, there is groundness and there is you deserve joy you deserve happiness you deserve all that you see here and there's a lot there's a lot of blessings coming in and a lot of money not to mention love soulmate soulmate is coming also it starts as a lover as a partnership but then it turns into be um, love too so love money it's all coming all of it so you need to be grounded. You need to know that happiness is coming um, for you, for family, for relationships. And now let's talk about relationships. Yes, there is forgiving and learning, um, releasing. I'll just put my glasses on for this section here. It's very hard to see it. Okay. Yes, releasing and healing from the past. You're experiencing more love in your current moment, present moment, and... There is this here where it says, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. It's really worth working on. So that's really wonderful. And you need to know that you deserve love and you deserve, not love, you have love already. You deserve joy. You've got love already. You deserve happiness. So you need to tell yourself that, happiness. So work hard on your relationship because you truly do deserve a lot of happiness. Now. Moving on, because this relationship, if it is a relationship, it's moving on and becoming a soulmate connection that's going to move forward to big time, big uh, levels, high levels. Now that we established everything, let us see. I was going to do a cliche, but everything is taking too long. I can't do add, add on more. So let's just clarify what I can. Starting with this king of uh, fire, the king of wands. Let's see for the collective who this person is. Okay, this person's connected to someone of Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There could be someone, this could be someone that you you could be separating from or this is in regard to a separation or hurtful words or painful words that come from someone of Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This could be someone at work that you might be uh, dealing with. I feel like, uh, I really feel like this fire energy is connected to this Earth Energy. So whoever this person is, if it's yourself, this is connected to you. Um, or I feel like for some of you, uh, there could be a situation where you could be separating. Uh, there could have been hurtful words and painful words being said to someone of Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. And I feel like this fire energy is going to be someone that uh, is going to be um, either held accountable or uh is, is the cause of this situation, the cause of this painful words. Some painful words have been said, and I feel like it's going to heal because we've got the sun, so the sun is going to heal the situation. Uh, for some of you, there could be a separation. There is a big possibility of se separation for those of you who are earth and fire relationships. There could be issues there, but I do, or, or partnerships there. I feel like there could be hurtful words, but there's also healing. We've got the sun, so that shows us healing. Let's have a look at the conflict. Uh, this conflict that, um, which is the five of swords, this where you feel defeated. Let's see what this is all about. This could be in relation. Yes, it is. It is all connected. This is all connected and it's connected to 
uh, air energy here somebody has got air energy Aquarius Gemini Libra words that have been said or some truth that's been said that must have been really hard to take I feel like the the only solution here the only way out of this uh, which you, you really know what you have to do you've really got to sort of step away from a situation that is very hard for you to step away from Maybe you've been putting up uh, a lot in this situation because it was hard for you to step. Maybe children were involved, other situations, work, money uh, could have been involved that you're not able to separate yourself from, from this. But I feel like you are ultimately going to be the Three of Swords will put an end to something that's been ongoing and you wanted to leave for some time. Finally, you are able to leave. And there is ultimately... There is uh, family harmony. There's going to be harmony. No matter how hard this may seem, there will be harmony. There will be peace. And the sun is shining in this situation. So it's healing the situation. It's bringing you abundance of success and radiance in all these matters. And you are destined for a lot of happiness. Therefore, the happiness is there and freedom is there too. So you are going to free yourself from any complications. And there are complications here. Without a doubt, there are complications. Uh, this could also be connected to someone of water energy because we've got this um, page of water and we've got the king of wa water. There could be a rebirth, an ending here and a rebirth, a new rebirth for news, a new lease on life coming that will heal the situation. But let's see further. Let's see the four of swords. That might tell us a little bit more. You're taking time out and healing from this. There is a big conflict. I can see a major one. Yes, you are torn between whether you should go, whether you should stay, this or that, this place or that place, this job or that job, this relationship or that relationship. You're torn. And what it looks like to me is that there is going to be an ending. This conflict, this uh, battle that you're in is going to come to an ending. That's why you are, you've got the Four of Swords where you're resting. And then there is always a resolution. You are able to go. You're able to take action. Where you were not able, you were torn. After this ending, whether it's a passing or an ending, um, you are coming, you are able to move freely. So I feel like that's going to be over. You're able to move, and it was a situation that was very controlling. There is justice um, your way. Justice is going to give you everything, every right you have. And overcoming something that was negative, obsessive, controlling, too much of, and you are getting rewarded, expanding your vision, your mind, looking at what to do about about movement. You're able to move where, where you were not able to before. You are finally able to move forward. So that is really great news. Let's have a look at now the Knight of Wands. Where do you want to go to? Some of you could be traveling. Some of you could be moving forward. And it is in regard to this. You see here the Five of Swords. We got the Five of Swords and we got the Five of Swords here. So it shows to me in an area where you were feeling no amount of conflict, no amount of reasoning could have resolved this. This is a situation that was destined to end. That's why we've got the Death card and we've got the Three of Swords. This situation had to come to an end. It wasn't easy. It was difficult. And you were per persevering and trying and trying, but there was no winning, no amount of... No matter what you had done, you couldn't have won over the situation. This is a situation that is sort of a, a defeat. There's nothing you can do. It's reached an impasse. It's reached to an ending. So you're leaving. And you're able to leave now because you are empowered. You are empowered um, with money. Money is coming in and you are financially becoming very comfortable. That's why we have the ten of pentacles, which shows a lot of money is coming in, helping you to be able to move and the money path also supporting you to be able to take action you see to be able to take action now this ending was here and the three of sword was that part of it no sorry it wasn't the three of sword it was the five of swords okay so it shows to me you are able to move now that there's money involved you're able to move forward without hesitation we got the treasure which is also worry free finances so this shows that money is coming big time. You're able to move forward without hesitation. There's a money path opening up and now you're able to take action. That's why you're able to take action. Because of the money path that's coming, helping you move forward from a situation that was stuck. Remember, you are destined for a lot of money and moving forward. And you're also destined for a lot of happiness. Also remember that. Very important. Happiness to the highest level because of the abundance that's coming and giving you the freedom. 
the freedom to move forward the way you want to move forward or where you want to go. That's what's happening here. So that is excellent. Now, let's move forward and you are going to be empowered by the magician to finally be free and move forward like magic. Things are going to fall into your lap and things are going to work really well for you. That's why at the end of the day you have got a great victory. You are going to be victorious and overcome all these all these problems. Now, let's have a look at uh, the lovers and see what the lovers are all about. And then I'm going to clarify one more card, which is the pentacles. Okay. So, my dear viewers, let's have a look at the lovers and see what is that for the collective. Okay. It is in connection to, wow, in connection to someone of Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and someone new coming into your life, someone new coming to, into their life or into your life, Fire Energy, a new beginning with someone, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Could be connected to this king, not sure. But what I'm sure of is that this person, uh, you might be... Uh, in a in a position where you're trying to make a decision you could be torn between two paths two situations you could be torn between whether you should go or stay um in between where you're living say for example you're living just an example you're living with your parents and you meet someone and you are falling in love and you want to move in together right or get married or move in together let's talk about you know today's time is moving in together and de facto or whatever so what happens uh you might be torn whether to stay with family or to move in. So there might be a new idea, a new concept that might make it easy for you to be able to move. Uh, somebody could be very supportive or they might come up with a brilliant new project or a new path or a new home or something that might be offered. But certainly uh, there is um, a situation where partnerships are involved. And this could also be in regard to business. You might be meeting someone new that might be fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, either one. And supported by someone of earth energy virgo taurus capricorn who might be very supportive and you might unite together and be able to do a partnership a business or move in together or an amazing love life begins between earth and fire there's nothing more delicious and spectacular when earth meets fire have a look at your general reading and you'll know exactly what i'm talking about so if you're of fire energy and you meet earth you are absolutely going to be in heaven um, the elements of your signs uh, work well together work fantastic together and we have the lovers transforming and becoming later on to the soulmate card so we're talking something magnificent here something incredible you do deserve joy you do deserve happiness and happiness is there it's for there for everyone so i feel like something big is changing in your life transformations decisions are calling for you to be made big decisions so um, we'll see what happens with that. Happiness is imminent and destined. Now, my dear viewers, we talked about that. You are destined for a lot of happiness. And look at that, freedom and everything. I've got to still do this, Ten of Pentacles. You are destined for um, a lot of blessings, incredible blessings coming your way. Dreams come true, um, achieving all that. And there it is again, twice, victory. And don't forget cancer now. The star sign cancer, one, two, three, four, June, July is mentioned big time. Something big is happening in, um, in the life of Cancerians. Something major. And I believe it could be happening like within maybe, what? Mm. I'd say six weeks, six to seven weeks. Something big is going to happen maybe. Seven weeks. Something big. So, Cancerians, and this is the greatest victory for all. Happiness and the greatest victory of all with a treasure, together a treasure, this is just magnificent, my dear viewers. Having uh, money coming in, free, uh, not worry-free finances, and being able to overcome obstacles and have a great victory, a lot of happiness. This is just incredible, absolutely incredible. Now, let's talk about the main uh, matter here, which is also very important, the Ten of Pentacles. Let's have a look at the Ten of Pentacles and see what this is all about for everybody just have a look at timing yep. okay so ten of pentacles for the collective it's connected to this person here so someone temporary comes into your life inspires you and moves along uh, this is going to be also someone of fire energy could be very supportive Sagittarius 
um, Leo Aries, someone of fire energy. I feel like uh, there is going to be inspiration to take you to the next level. You are destined for abundance, but there is going to be conflict. And it's only at the end of uh, a very painful, suffocating chapter, money comes. I feel like a lot of truth is going to be shown to you where you'll know where your path is and you're taking action. You're taking action and moving forward. And it's after moving forward, after this chapter ends completely, then the wealth, the money, the Ten of Pentacles comes. Wealth and money comes after the end of all this uh, havoc, all these problems, all these separations, all these major constraints that are in your life. After they all end, then justice will prevail and you will have the money that is destined for you and you are going to be quite comfortable and wealthy. And the money path is destined for you. It just needs time and justice will prevail for you. It will be in your, on your side if you are separating and you remember you are destined for a lot of happiness extraordinary happiness so let's put this here and let's have a look at the chinese cookies let's see what they want to add on for january 18 for the collective and we've got them two of them all right so the first one says opportunity it says opportunities a stranger is about to a stranger is about to change your life exciting times and plenty of action plus a special family reunion looks likely nice the next one, travel. Long-distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Very interesting because we've got the partners here. We've got the lovers and we've got also the, um, the two of cups, which is all to do with partnerships and working well together. Whether it's going to be relationship-wise, love-wise, whatever it is, it is destined. There's a lot of happiness is destined and a lot of treasure is destined for you. So it's going to work out well no matter what happens, no matter which part of it is. Uh, you are going to heal together. You're going to work well together. And you are going to be very strong together if you are starting a business or a relationship. Either way, you are destined for a lot of happiness here and a lot of success success without a doubt not only money but success in everything you do whether it's a relationship that you're thinking of moving in with someone or starting or whether it's a partnership the success is there and happiness is there so you'll be working well together that is beautiful and that is the end of your reading my dear viewers i do hope you enjoyed it do let me know what you think support me in watching the videos all the way to the end i really appreciate your support if you do that for me without stopping them just seeing them through and if you get bored just let them run until it ends that is going to be the greatest support watching videos all the way to the end and i would really appreciate that from you if you are able to give me that support you don't have to only if you would like to i wish you abundance of blessings in every day in everything you do and all my blessings namaste